Welcome back to Black Skies Reviews mini series for Joy Toys Fear 3 Heavy Firepower Type Mech. This is going to be part two of our mini series, and in this part, we're going to be taking a look at all the contents of the Hottie Detail Review. Um, we've already had and did part one. I will be releasing all parts at the same time, so look for the playlist if you want to watch it completely through, or you can actually just look and see if you want a specific part you want to check out um, versus other parts that may not interest you. But in this part, we're going to take a look at all this stuff, one by one. So all this will be highly detailed reviewed for you guys. Be really nice. So let's get started. So first off, we're going to take a look at the instructions. This is pretty much what you get. It doesn't look like it's going to be very easy to uh, follow. So, it's the interior. It's basically tell you where everything goes, and you got to figure out how to put it on. It kind of seems like it's a little backwards to me, but I think it would open this way. It looks like the front. So it's just like black and white. Okay, so our first piece we're going to take a look at. It's all white with some black weathering. So we have a water slide decal here. It says danger do not touch. It's this yellow and black water slide decal. It's actually this way. So you can read it. Um, this does open up. We do have a rocket inside. It's like a gunmetal color, it's really cool. So it looks like to be two of these in this set. So here's the other one. Looks to be the same thing. And yeah, rockets come in really nice and go back, go in and out really nicely. Basically, sort of good. Okay, so next piece up is uh, this. Um, it's like a handle maybe for the gun or something. It's all done in all black. Okay, then we have this red cylinder. Kind of makes you think it's like the ammo, bar ammo bar barrel for the actual uh, weapon. Or maybe a fuel tank. I'm not sure at this point. I am going through this unboxing with you guys, so... We'll find out together. So we have some soft goods on here. The red's nice red. Some dirty wash. We have these uh, handlebars, I guess we want to call them on top. Velcro right here. Some silver. Or actually more like a gunmetal silverish color. We have a holster or strap for something here. That's pretty cool. Next up, for we have this piece. So it's like a, it's a type of collar or something, or uh, arm piece maybe. You did get two. You do get two of those. There's uh, they're the same dirty white with the uh, gun metal right here on the side, each side. Okay, here we are with some soft good pouches. We have two of them that are attached together, as you can see. Uh, these are working um, little clips. You can unclip them. And there's currently a felt bag, a piece of uh, styrofoam inside. And uh, you can remove that and put gear in. So these are actually relatively large. Um, the figure I have with me, for example, is a stone trooper on my table. So you can see how big they are compared to a 118 scale figure. But they're good to connect it on the back with little clips also. Do we have like the Velcro there? That looks really cool. Okay, our next soft good pouch. We have a zipper, it looks like. And here is the uh, star that's inside that keeps the shape. So you actually can uh, put some 
put some stuff in there and here's our trusty stormtrooper model and you can see how big those are here we have some long straps on the back zipper works pretty good some small little connectors and this is our next pouch here it's a very large velcro on the back very long piece here again we're bringing our model very big pouch does open you might be able to carry a figure in there you actually think about it take that out of there and set him in there <laughs> he could just be picking out the shooting weapons hanging out on the mech that'd be kind of different you can carry a trooper in a paddle that way i guess okay next we have this very thick pouch It opens up like this. It kind of sits like this way. It is relatively thick. We have pouches on the sides. Big piece of flops open on the front. I think, you know, move all these connectors. Looks like you have a small one here in the front. That is really nice. Okay, next up we have these two pouches. Broker on the back. Connectors on the front. Okay, next one we have this smaller one. Two connectors. It's kind of a more smaller rectangular, maybe. Um, Broker on the back. Relatively thinner. These are very cool. Okay, next up we have these ammo, ammo pouches. You can see that these ones open with this Velcro. You put whatever you want in those. You do get two of those. And next we get this piece. We have the plastic white. Um, it is strapped through the these gray bars on top. You can actually grip those. Long straps. And here is another one. It's the same thing. So you basically get two of those. Okay, so here's our next piece. We have the white. Dirty white with a white wash, let's just say. We do have some gun metal here. It looks like metal plates. That looks very cool. These look like maybe, I want to say arm pieces. So, maybe like the forearms. And you do get two of those. So, you get a right and a left, I'm assuming. They're kind of different. Well, maybe. Um, yeah. Why don't we... It's definitely upside down. Yeah, they're upside down. So, you get two of those. These are, I think these are the forms. Okay, next up we have these pieces. I think these are leg pieces. Water slide decal on here. It says caution. We have some gray here on the side. Gray on the front, gray on the side. These little heavier washed pieces. Which probably makes sense. So it's at you know, lower level. They do go on the thigh, uh, lower the sh um, shins. Then they would definitely uh, attract more dirt. So that's kind of cool for uh, realism. Okay, the next piece we get two of these. We have punishment across the one, and we don't have nothing across this one. We have the four. Round cylinders in the center, two reds, one on each side. We have the two gray bars, one on top, one on bottom. And then we have this piece attached. We have some the grays throughout on the sides. We have like a shape here done in gray. Depending on what you know, way these go on, it could be you know a V maybe, I don't know. Again, I'm just trying to discover this as you guys are. So let's make this a cool unboxing video. 
Okay, next piece up is probably the biggest piece. Uh, I want to say that these are the thigh pieces. Look how big this thing is. I gotta say, man, it's, it's like big as an apple. There's a water side decal there in the center. This is lock. We have those gray and red cylinders here. We have the two bars, gray bars. We have those cylinders on the side. We do have a very cool logo here. We have a gunmetal vent. Back here we do have another vent, two little bar painted areas. It's really interesting you can see inside there. There's a, a bar right there. Bar on that side. And then if you flip it over, you can see the uh, bars from the other side. So that's really cool. And you get you do get two of them, so and they are pretty much the same, I believe. Except for the logo here. There's no logo on that one. So uh, you'll know, probably have to determine which one's the right, which one's the left. Really cool pieces. These are so these are pretty big. Um, for example, let's bring in our model again. So Stone Trooper. He literally could set in there. Pretty big piece. So you're talking about it's like four inches tall. Okay, next up is this massive weapon. Um, I'm not zooming in on this thing. This thing is huge. Um, for example, let's see if we can set this down for a second and get an idea. The tape measure here. Things going off the camera. So this thing is relatively from the farthest point ten and a half inches long. And you from the farthest point, so just get an idea, maybe four and a half inches to the top. That is a massive weapon. These are actually bigger than any transformer masterpiece weapon I've ever seen. And here's our stone trooper model. You can see how massive he is. Very cool. We have lots of straps. Or very well, yeah, very long strap, I should say. It's not lots of straps. So we have one massive one. So it's very long. Uh, we have some straps here going on to the bottom. So on the bottom, we have a yellow black water side decal. We have the red barrel that looks like the one we looked at earlier. So I'm wondering if, I did see on the box, he has a red barrel on his chest. So maybe that could be an additional ammo um, barrel or that you can swap out here. We will definitely take a look at that in our player ability uh, part of our mini series. So we have the red barrel, we have this silver, looks like this is probably the gun fed belt. And uh, some uh, cylinder here with some like little screw holes, a lot of gun metal. We have white and another water slide decal there. This does uh, rotate, I'm not sure if it's supposed to. Oh, I should have said this was a playability part, right? But you can see this part here spinning. This is spinning, this whole front spinning. It's because it's meant to. So we have the dirty white and the gunmetal throughout the, the front of the, the barrel here. Top of it is the other side. We do have this piece with the, like the cylinder here. So here's this handle. This hole here, looks like it might be for that other handle piece. I'm not sure yet. This is really nice. This is massive. Okay, for this part of the uh, review, I'm going to have to hold the camera. He's so big. 
so we get an idea of what we're looking at here. The camera may shake. Just I'll try to hold it as best I can. But here we have the overall head sculpt. We have the gunmetal on the uh, on this side here. Do we have the red eye? A little bit of a uh, gray here on the top. Some cylinders here. Some nice um, sculpt work. We have this gray cylinder. This flat black piece coming down. We have more soft goods that are wrapped around. We're we'll definitely gonna take a look at these. You see this? This is all functional holding straps. You can put a mother load of weapons on there and our whole arsenal. But we'll take a look at that here in our playability section um, of the uh, review of the mini series. Um, I'm telling you what, I love this. Is like a gun metal here on the legs and on the arms. It's more of like a gun metal. With the black hands. This is feet. This is arms. Head. Guess if I can spin him around for the side view. So we either have some kind of turn here, this is a gun metal or some kind of sensor rays. And then we have a large piece of velcro here that's on, this, on the uh, side here. You can see the internal uh, um, parts. You see there is white here on his um, top of his hand. On the back, we can see this cockpit. We have some red dots here. We have a vent, a couple of thrusters, I'm assuming, some kind of red um, cylinders. We have some water slide decals of the yellow black warnings. Do have some silver right here. The, overall, the body of the white, they have a, a weathering wash, I guess back of the legs you can see the working uh, pistons here we have these flaps on the back they're done in the white dirty wa um, with the dirty wash they are removable which we'll take a look at that soon there's some copper pistons down here on his feet that looks really really good here's the other side did notice a uh, piece under here, which we'll take a look at, like why that would be there, because that looks like it could hold some more accessories. That's a really bad place for that. I'm not sure if it goes there. It's Velcro on there, so we can remove that if you have to. Um, and then because it's just hidden, just here under the cockpit. This piece here. But we'll, we'll examine that later on. So we have some of the soft goods that's wrapped around the bar of the mech itself. Yeah, so this is very cool. I'm telling you what, man, this is going to be very finicky uh, putting this thing together. It's going to probably take you better than an hour to put all this gear on this, on this mech um, with all the small um, connectors and the straps. So yeah, I'm going to set this down and I'll give you some other looks. Um, views, I should say, of the um, mech at a more of a uh, horizontal appearance. Before we do that, I'm going to take a look at the top. Alright. Okay, I set the camera down so we can take a look. The mech itself. Guess we'll do the top half and then we'll do the bottom half. This is incredible. Okay, here's the bottom half. I love the color of this mech. This, this substructure 
is a beautiful gunmetal. I love the color of that. That looks like real metal. I'm hoping you got this is coming through very nicely because like you do have some of the copper here on the pistons. So that really brings those out. All right, he's very cool, very nice. Okay, so I'm back at holding this, so I'm gonna show you that this piece in the front here does raise up. It may shake a little bit while I'm doing this to get this pointing with one hand and trying not to vibrate the camera. This is what the under um, soft goods look like. Look at all those little slots here that you can slide weapons into. If I have something here, I can hold it with one hand on my camera. So, Stone Trooper gun. If I can get it to open with one hand. Um, yeah, well, we'll look more in depth at it here in a second. Uh, in, in our uh, playability part of our. Uh, review okay I got in just a little bit better I paused the camera but that's this one gun on the, all that that you can hide underneath your chest plate armor you all it gives you like almost like a camel mecha carry all those weapons in a battle very very cool we'll take more look at it here in our next upcoming parts of our mini series all right guys so this is it for part two that's all the parts you get for this mech um so look for part three or like i said look for the playlist part three is going to be the articulation of the mech take a look at that and who knows what else so uh don't forget to like this video please subscribe um, like, and com uh, like and share the video, uh, comment down below if you have any questions. I'll try to answer them for you the best I can. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in part three.